Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this lesson I want to describe some ways in which you can interact with the audience so that their attention is focused on you. I'm sure that all your presentations are very stimulating but just listening can be hard work and some members of the audience may have trouble following everything that you say. Today I want to show you some simple but effective questioning techniques so that the audience can focus their attention on you. Firstly, asking the audience early on to respond to a yes-no question is a very uh, easy but effective technique to get them to interact with you. Uh, it can create a good mood and make them feel very positive. For example, suppose you want to know where people come from in the audience. Uh, you could ask whether they're from the local area and there are a couple of ways that you can do this. For example, Please clap if you're from the local area. Oh, I can see many of you here are here today from, the, from this area. That's wonderful. Uh, another way to ask this question would be to get the audience to raise their hands. Please raise your hands if you're from the local area. Ah, not so many, but it's wonderful that so many of you have come from out of town. Thank you so much for traveling so far to get here. Thank you. In this way, it's easy for the members of the audience to take part and it can create a good positive mood. You can also find out a little bit of information about who's listening to you and you can refer to that later in your presentation if you think it's relevant. In this case, I could find out where the audience comes from and I can refer either to the local area or to some information from out of town. A second way uh, to interact with the audience with a question is to ask one that has an unexpected or surprising answer. For example, uh, I'll ask you a question. Uh, how many children live in poverty uh, in Japan? Is it one in 600? Is it one in 60? Or is it one in six? Okay. Raise your hands if you think it's one in 600. Okay. okay, raise your hands if you think it's one in 60. Thank you. Okay, raise your hands if you think it's one in six. Okay, now many people know that Japan is a, is a relatively wealthy country, so it might be a surprising answer to find out that one in six children live in poverty uh, in that country. So you can see, I hope, that this kind of question will stimulate your audience's thinking and get their attention and they'll be drawn to know why uh, you gave them such a surprising answer. So far, we've asked questions in which the audience responds by raising their hand or, or clapping um, or picking uh, one option out of three. Um, but if you're confident that your audience knows about the topic and they're likely to give their opinions or uh, give comments, uh, then you can ask more open questions or WH questions. WH questions are what, and why, and where, and who, and how. So for example, um, uh, what problems uh, do you think tourists face when they go to another country? Or why do people like uh, online learning? Or how can we decrease our use of plastics? So these WH questions uh, will help give your audience a chance uh, to express their opinions and give comments and help them interact with you. If it's a small audience, you can get everybody's uh, opinion. And if it's a larger audience, uh, you can just get a sample, but that will help you judge what their thinking and level of knowledge about your topic is. And the benefit of asking such questions is uh, it's engaging and will help the audience focus on your talk. For all these three kinds of questions, if you have time, it's great if you can get the audience to talk to each other uh, in pairs or small groups. This gives them time to think about your question uh, it helps them to uh, rehearse uh, an answer if they're going to talk to you and it takes the pressure off you. You have to be a little bit careful about time management though because once people start talking it can be hard to stop them. 
You could use some of these phrases if you'd like to stop the talk. Thanks, please stop now. Thank you, we have to move on. Thank you, time is up. And you can use these phrases to get their answers. Now, I'd like to hear your opinions. Okay, who would like to answer the question? Do you have any comments? Would anybody else like to comment? When people answer, try to give an encouraging comment back to them. Uh, this will lift the audience's mood and promote a supportive atmosphere. Here are a few phrases that you can use. Very interesting. Thanks for that. What a great response. That's a great idea. I hadn't thought of that. In today's lesson, I've talked about trying to use uh, different kinds of questions to promote an interaction with your audience. Uh, yes, no questions, such as, are you local? Uh, surprising questions, such as, um, how many children live in poverty in Japan? And WH questions, such as, how do we decrease our plastic use? Such questions will keep your audience engaged, promote interaction and create a good atmosphere. And hopefully this will help them to uh, understand and remember your talk. Raise your hands if you agree.